Medical school students are probably pretty happy they don't have to walk to school in all this rain today, but more than 50 med students at KU are closing this chapter of their life to start a new one. As the threat of coronavirus continues to grow, medical students are eager to get out of the classroom. Seems like we should be helping. We have the knowledge to do something. Volunteers are doing more than something. The University of Kansas School of Medicine is allowing its fourth year students to graduate early to serve throughout the state. I want to be the person who's there to be on the front lines and make sure that someone ha can care about you and care for you no matter what. After a brief training period, doctors will be sent to hospitals, mainly in rural areas. The commitment to service for these students is overwhelming. Dr. Michael Kennedy is in charge of the new pandemic volunteer health care workforce staffed by his students. He asked for volunteers just yesterday. I really cried. <laughs> yeah, I went, I uh, got the emails and they started flooding in and it was just, you know, buzzing my phone and, and sending me an email. And I had, I was overwhelmed. I went, you know, of course I'm working from home. And so I went to my wife and just cried. More than 50 students answered the call. We want to be the person who is there. Like there's gotta be someone to catch you when things go wrong. And that's the reason that I wanted to go to medical school. Molly says the choice to start her career just a few months early was easy. All of us just view this as our obligation, our job, our calling. Like this is the same to us as going to work because this is what we wanted to do. And while coronavirus couldn't have been in her original plans, she's taking it in stride. Medicine is never predictable. <laughs> like nothing follows the textbook, especially a worldwide pandemic. These students are only helping during what's expected to be the peak of cases here in Kansas. They'll head to their assigned residencies all across the country starting on July 1st. In Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KC TV5 News.